we're going to write in counts for rhythms that use dotted quarter notes. Here we go. Step one, know how many counts are in the measure. There's four on the top, which means we need to put one and two and three and four and under the correct notes in each measure. Every measure starts with one, always. Dotted quarter notes get one and a half counts. One and a half counts is equal to three of these pieces. Since the dotted quarter note comes first, I'm going to take the first three pieces and put it under the dotted quarter. Eighth notes are only worth half of the count, so they only get one piece of counting. I'm going to take the next available piece and put it under the eighth note. Quarter notes are a full beat. They get two pieces of counting. The next two pieces are three and. So also a quarter note, there's two pieces left, four and. So one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. On to this measure. I still need to include all of this information under those notes. It starts with an eighth rest. Eighth rest, like eighth note, gets just one piece of counting. So I'm going to take the first one right there. One. Because it always starts with one. Dotted quarter gets three pieces of counting. The next three available pieces are and, two, and. That's an eighth note. It gets its own single piece. This is next. So I'm going to put it there. That's an eighth note. It gets the next piece. Eighth rest gets the next piece. Eighth note gets the final piece. One and two and three and four and. This entire rhythm is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The reason for writing counts underneath rhythms is to be able to figure out how to correctly play the rhythm, or in the case of singers, how to correctly sing the rhythm. If you can speak the counting and clap your hands on the right word, you can play the rhythm by yourself. Clap it with me. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We now have a new time signature, which will affect the counts we write underneath. There are now three beats in a measure, so we'll write one and two and three and in the correct places. Eighth notes get half of the count, so they get one piece. The other eighth note gets the next piece. That's an eighth rest. It gets one piece. Dotted quarter, one and a half counts, gets three pieces. Half notes. Half notes are equal to two complete counts. That's one and two and. Eighth notes get one piece. Eighth note gets one piece. Clap this rhythm along with me. Ready and go. One and two and three and one and two and three and.
and another time signature. This time, there are two beats in a measure. Eighth note, other eighth note, eighth note, eighth rest. That in quarter gives three pieces of counting. That gets the remaining one. Clap this rhythm. Ready and go. One and two and one and two and. And that's how to write counts in when they're dotted quarter notes.